The distinctive red poppy is a symbol that many people in the UK wear to, in the lead up to Armistice Day on the 11th of November. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance. We wear it to remember those whose lives have been affected by wars and active service. But how did the poppy become such a symbol? It all goes back to World War I. During the First World War, the landscape of Belgium and France was completely destroyed. The digging of trenches and bombing of the land, in addition to thousands of marching soldiers and regular digging of graves, turned up much of the soil to mud. This churned up soil provided ideal conditions for poppy seeds, which can lie dormant in the soil for many years to grow. As one officer mentioned in his memoirs, every spring during the long four years of World War I, soldiers witnessed the brilliant red poppies blooming on the newly dug graves and on the shelled battlegrounds surrounding the field of Flanders in Belgium. The swathes of colour completely transformed the fields of despair. In May 1950, a doctor called John McRae, who was serving with the Canadian Armed Forces, wrote a poem in Flanders Fields that became one of the most famous poems from First World War when it was published in the Punch magazine. The day before he wrote in Flanders Fields, one of his closest friends was killed and buried in a grave, decorated with a simple wooden cross. Wild poppies were already growing between the crosses of those that had already been killed in battle. The next day, during a lull in battle, he scribbled the poem in his notebook. A Flanders field by John McCray. A Flanders field that poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that marks our places, and in the sky the lark. Still bravely singing, fly, scare, Heard it amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. In 1918, an American lady. Moina Michael, having reading John McRae's poem, wrote her own poem in which she said, And now the torch and poppy red, we wear in honour of our dead. Moina Michael then decided to make silk poppies and encourage people to wear them. A French lady, Anna Gurren, bought these poppies to England, and the newly formed Royal British Legion sold all nine million of them in their first poppy bid in 1921. The £106,000 they raised was then used to help the war veterans. In 1922, the poppy factory in Aylesford, Kent, was opened, employing injured war veterans who were struggling to find work elsewhere. And so the poppy became the symbol of remembrance. These poppies often gave people a sense of hope. Even after life seemed to be destroyed on the battlefield, this little flower had managed to survive. A symbol of hope that those who had fought would be remembered by future generations. They hoped that the sacrifice would not have been in vain.